The student quarter is the latest area of concern in a multi-agency crackdown on the importation of illegal drugs. Three search warrants have been executed in Castle Street by Dunedin Police and New Zealand Customs Officers, who have made a further raid in Green Island. Chief Customs Officer Kirk McPherson says it's in response to the discovery of several packages of illegal drugs bound for Dunedin. And there was one particular address that we had uh, several imports coming to. Uh, we contact the police and speak to them about it and see if the address is known to them, if the residents are known to them and then we work together on uh, an operation. The operation's already been touted as a success with the arrest of an 18-year-old man for selling cannabis. Police say further charges may be laid as seized computers and cell phones are being tested to ascertain if they've been used for drug importation. And while Dunedin's the focus at the moment, McPherson says this isn't a localised issue. It's a nationwide pro problem, um, but it's big in the student areas. Um, the Palmerston North type areas, uh, the Dunedin, uh, the big universities uh, causing us problems. Cannabis and ecstasy are the main drugs being brought into the city, although they're not the only ones. Several Class A drugs such as methamphetamine, cocaine and LSD are also being imported. And McPherson says it's students in particular who are getting involved through the internet. I think it's because the students think um, at that age they're invincible. Um, it's easy to order it over the net and they're safe because they're not going to the gang addresses buying it from gang members. You just you order it at home, you press uh, send on your computer and it arrives in the mail. Um, so it seems like safe. So um, that's, I think, the students get into it quite a bit for that. Customs and police want the recent raids to serve as a warning to students. The importation and sale of illegal drugs will lead to jail. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.